I'm Marc Allen from Maison Louis Latour, the Asia Director for this old and very uh, well-known winery. Today it's the seventh Louis, uh, because not everybody is called Louis, but uh, for the last seven generations they've been called Louis. Since 1797 Maison Latour has been uh, at the hill of Corton, where we've been making both Corton Charlemagne, which is the most famous white wine in the world, and uh, Chateau Corton Grancy, the wines of uh, Corton. It's the only Grand Cru in Burgundy which has both, is uh, present in both colours, white and red. As well as making wines in uh, the hill of Corton, Louis Latour has also established a very famous uh, reputation for making wines from throughout Burgundy. Each generation likes to add something new to uh, the Louis Latour's business plan for the future and Louis Fabrice has always been a big fan of Chablis acquired uh, Simon et Feb in 2002 no, and, no. and my colleague Jean-Philippe uh, here is uh, the general manager and the winemaker of this prestigious Chablis house. Hello everybody, I'm Jean-Philippe Archambault, winemaker and managing director at Simon et Feb, Chablis. Uh, Simon et Feb is a very old company created back in 1840 uh, and at the time we were only making sparkling that used to be called sparkling Chablis. Uh, that was back in the 1830s, 1840s. Uh, nowadays, uh, being based in Chablis, we do produce a lot of Chablis, including the four different appellations, Petit Chablis, Chablis, Chablis Premier Cru and Chablis Grand Cru. Uh, and we still produce some sparkling, which is nowadays called Crément de Bourgogne. And we do produce Crément in different colors, uh, white and rosé, uh, including different grapes, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. So as you know, um, Burgundy has become uh, much more popular in the last few years um, due to the success of the Pinot Noir and the Chardonnay grapes um, and why are people interested in Bourgogne? Why are people interested in Louis Latour? First of all Tradition, the tradition of the house, it plays a very strong role in uh, giving people confidence in our products. Uh, the Louis Latour signature is a signature of quality. Um, and of course, uh, with, uh, with the know-how that we have in the vineyards, by cultivating not only uh, the, the, the terroir, uh, but also uh, getting our hands into the vinification. We know intimately uh, the, the winemaking methods of Burgundy. And Maison <coughs> Latour hasn't only established itself in the traditional appellations of Corton or Clos Vougeot or even Romany Saint Vivant, but also with new wines such as our Grand Ardèche uh, that was introduced to the market uh, in, in Korea just two years ago. Uh, and we also have a red wine called Domaine de Valmoisine, which is equally uh, pleasant, typical Pinot Noir qualities, elegance, finesse, but at the same time, affordability. So these are all the reasons why I think Louis Latour is the perfect uh, ambassador for Bourgogne and also the perfect uh, beginning for wine drinkers uh, and also wine specialists uh, who want to, to, to get involved in, in our wines. So Simone Febvre is one of the oldest uh, Chablis houses. We have been operating and making wines uh, since 1840, so for more than 180 years. Uh, so very long story. Uh, and I guess today we've got a very modern style. Uh, I remember about 10 or, 15, or 10 or 15 years ago, all people wanted some very rich wine with high alcohol, a lot of barrel. I think nowadays we've got a big trend of having some lighter wine with less alcohol, uh, probably less wood, more freshness. Uh, and that's exactly what Chablis and the Cremant Bourgogne would show. Uh, a lot of freshness, uh, something very precise, a lot of fruit, uh, which is very much in the modern style of what people are looking today. So we have always producing sparkling wine uh, at Simone Febvre uh, since 1840. It used to be called sparkling Chablis, nowadays Cremant Bourgogne. Uh, and Simone Febvre was the first one and still the only one to produce uh, Cremant Bourgogne in Chablis. Uh, so there are no other uh, wineries, we are still the only one. 
uh, and Cremant is very interesting because it's part of Burgundy, uh, made with Burgundian grapes, and for Simonet we only source our grapes, Pinot Noir or Chardonnay, from the region of Chablis, no, not from the actual vineyard of Chablis, but 20k west and east of Chablis, so only northern grapes to keep all the freshness and the typicity of northern Burgundy. We're very lucky to come to Korea um, to introduce you uh, two great vintages from Bourgogne, which uh, 2016 and 2015. Both quite different um, because 2016 was a slightly cooler vintage. So we have wines that were in 2015 very warm, rich, fruit driven. All the qualities of 2015 but with more uh, minerality, more freshness, more acidity, a more acidic <coughs> backbone. Um, 2016 and was quite a difficult vintage because we had a slight, uh, slightly wet spring which meant that quantities were lower than 2015 and it means that the wines that are on the market are high in demand. So you have a quite a, um, a, a normal vintage in 2015 in terms of quantities and a smaller vintage in terms of quantities in 2016 which makes them different, both great vintages with different characteristics. So as you know um, in Korea, you are big fans of Bordeaux, and Bordeaux is five times bigger than Bourgogne, uh, which means that uh, the quantities of wines coming out of Bourgogne have always been very limited. With the increasing demand um, over the last 50 years, Maison Louis Latour has always looked to uh, introduce wines from new vineyards within Burgundy uh, or Bourgogne. Bourgogne, of course, stretches, as I said earlier, from north in Chablis to 240 kilometers further south in the Beaujolais region. And uh, Maison Latour has uh, been introducing wines from Macon, from the Beaujolais region, over the last uh, few years. But we've also gone as far south as west of the Rhone Valley uh, and further south and beyond Burgundy, and beyond Bourgogne, uh, to introduce also Chardonnay from the Ardèche, which is a region which was little known for wines before we introduced these, uh, the Chardonnay in 1979. The Ardèche has perfect uh, climatic conditions and with very similar soil conditions to that of Burgundy. Once we had the great success with uh, the Grand Ardèche, which is fermented uh, in barrel, uh, the same barrels of Corton Charlemagne. I like to call it our secret weapon. So I guess for uh, sparkling Cremant Bourgogne, it's a very popular category around the world. Uh, you get different sparkling wine, including some Prosecco and the Champagne, and the Cremant would fit right in the middle. Uh, Cremant has very long history in Burgundy. Uh, it's actually made exactly like Champagne. It's bottle fermented. We call it now uh, uh, method traditionnel, meaning fermented in the bottle. Uh, so you get some very complex wine. Uh, and what we do at Simonet, we use only two grapes, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Uh, by law we could use more, but we actually only use Pinot and Chardonnay uh, and we ate it a very long time in the cellar. So when you taste the wine, it's not, uh, it's not only a sparkling, it's not only a sparkler, it's a real wine with some complexity, uh, aged for a long time in the cellar and we can be aged and have a long life. If we look at the Chablis now, um, I guess we got a very modern style. Um, besides the long story that, that we got with Chablis, 180 years, um, typical Chablis, like the 2016 Chablis, uh, which is a very typical vintage, uh, when you smell you got all the lemony, citrusy character and then the mineral character. Um, so it's very easy to match with the food, with some fish, fresh fish or grilled fish. Uh, and the wine uh, is not rich and fat, but very elegant, very fine, very fresh which we have been making in Chablis uh, for a very long time, since 1840. Uh, we got a very long common history champagne. When you are in Chablis, uh, if you drive only 31 kilometers east, you reach the southern part of Champagne. Um, so same variety, uh, very similar soil, uh, limestone, uh, and very close from the southern boundary of Champagne.
Um, wine has become a lifestyle habit. Uh, so what wine for me is almost a language. We might say that uh, Chablis goes particularly well with seafood, a sushi or a sashimi. Finding the right uh, food match is always an exciting part of uh, having a great meal. Uh, Chablis is a very fresh uh, with some nice acidity, rich and a uh, lot of aromatics. Uh, it's quite difficult to match with the food, but with this sort of wine, having slightly less alcohol and more freshness and some nice acidity, uh, it's a very good pairing like for fresh fish, great fish, or even some uh, sort of chicken or poultry, uh, because the, the wine is not competing with the food, but it's just uh, melting with the food. And I think it's important, uh, Jean-Philippe, we talk about Bourgogne being cool climate. I think many people often today uh, are looking for cool climate wines because they have that minerality, that acidity, which is the perfect uh, backbone to a, to a wine. A wine without acidity is like um, uh, a car without a motor. <laughs> <laughs> we can do 10 more. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Our most expert. <laughs> okay. Then. So for the past uh, 25 years I've been working in the wine industry and uh, experience uh, tells me that ultimately consumers always come to Burgundy, come to Bourgogne, because it's in Bourgogne that there is still a lot of mystery but also some great wines, of course Louis Latour making some of the greatest. Um, so that's my first time in Korea so I'm very happy to be representing Chablis and Cremant Bourgogne. Uh, Chablis is a very unique wine, uh, probably the best well-known white wine in the world. You want some more elegant wine, some more refined wine, and that's exactly what Simone Feb is producing. A uh, very elegant wine uh, with a lot of history, uh, very complex wine uh, that you can have either pre-dinner drink, like just on a terrace, or sharing some nice dinner or lunch with your friends. So, there you go. New movement beyond Bourgogne, well done. Okay, cut. Oh, yeah. Good job. Annyeong, hi, say yo. Louis Latour, Mark Allen. Simone Fèvre, Jean-Philippe Archambault, Ipnida. Louis Latour, Simone Fèvre. Sarang, hi, show, show, yo. Oh, la fin n'est pas trop loin.